Lyle's Golden Syrup sponsors Andy's Sweet Bakes. Salted caramel flapjacks are one of my favourite treats to make, and a combination of sweet and saltiness works so well together. And the best thing about them is that they're really easy to make. First of all, into a heavy base saucepan, I've got some Lyle's golden syrup, which is going to work so well with butter as the two combine really well together. Next, add some salted butter and just turn up the heat, stir through to melt the butter and mix with the syrup. Once the butter's melted, I'm just starting to come to the boil, add your oats. And give a good stir. Next, onto a tray lined with greaseproof paper, you take the mix and pour onto the tray. And then push into the tray, making sure the mixture is evenly spread. And then simply just pop into an oven for 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And then once done, well, the smell is incredible. Now for the fudge. First, some condensed milk and just pour into the pan. Some light brown sugar. Then I'm going to add some Lyle's golden syrup. Some butter for a little bit more richness and a glossy finish too. Some glucose syrup, which is really going to help it hold together. And then gently cook until all the mixture is combined and the sugar is melted. Turn up the heat a little, bring to the boil, and simmer for about 10 minutes until the mixture starts to come away from the sides of the pan. And the smell, well, there is only really one smell, and it is that of lovely fudge. And as you stir, you can see it start to become a light golden brown colour. Now, I'm adding white chocolate to this for that lovely vanilla flavour it gives, but also more smoothness to the finished fudge. Chop the chocolate just into small pieces and then stir through. And you can see it all start to come together. And once the chocolate's completely melted through and mixed, just simply spoon over the flapjack. And a great way to level the fudge is lay some greaseproof paper on top, a tray the same size, and push down. Now one last thing, the salt. Then just to help the salt stick to the fudge, lay the greaseproof paper back on and the tray and give a gentle pat down. Now pop this into a fridge just to firm up the fudge. Done. Now all you need to do is cut and serve. Golden Syrup sponsors Andy's Sweet Bakes.